Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! So and today it's actually the last video of 2019 and today I'm not going to repaint any dolls like we usually do it here on Fridays but today I'm going to make some sort of a summary and to take a look at all my dolls that I've made in 2019. You know, it, it's been a very interesting year. I am actually very proud of myself because I haven't skipped no Friday this year. I've made a new project and presented it here on YouTube absolutely every single week. So we have a lot of work today if we are going to go through all of them and this is exactly what I'm going to do now. I've opened here all my videos of the year and now we're going to take a look at them, discuss them. Of course, don't forget to write in the comments which dolls were your favorites. Maybe 2019 was actually the year when you have joined my channel, joined our doll repainting family. So please also don't forget to write a comment comment in the comment section down below which doll actually convinced you to enter our family, to enter our community. So it's going to be probably quite a long video because yeah we're going to talk about 55 or something like this dolls. So we better start right now. I'm opening my list of the videos, all the pictures, I collected them all in one map and now let's go through all of them. So I started the year with this beautiful frozen snowflake doll and actually right before the new year I've bought my airbrush, the compressor, airbrush, paint, the complete set and this was the very first doll that I've made using the airbrush. Of course nowadays I again like adjusted my use usage of this tool and I use the airbrush mostly when I'm going for a complete uh, body color change when I need to repaint I don't know some regular nude skin tone doll into a green baby Yoda or something like this or vice versa to turn a purple doll into a white doll but yeah this frozen snowflake doll it's made approximately completely using the airbrush. Yeah, it's been a very interesting experience and I really love this doll. I really love how this silver frost is laying on her skin. It's a really beautiful doll. So it's been a very good beginning of the year. So and the second doll of the year has become a really super hit. It went absolutely viral. I've never seen such a peak in views in my stats. And it's all because I've made the James Charles doll. Actually, it's been a very spontaneous makeover. I don't know, I've just seen everywhere these promo pictures from James Charles, from his collaboration with Morphe. He released his palette then back in the days. And I've seen this, his face with this makeup absolutely everywhere on the internet. So one day I just woke up and decided, oh, let's quickly make a James Charles doll. It's gonna be fun. And yeah, this video has become super viral and it's got yeah, two million and a half views already right now. And I don't know, it's got probably one million views the first month. It's probably really one of the best starting videos on my channel. Okay, then the next one was the Asian princess doll. Oh my god, guys, how I've been suffered with that doll. You cannot imagine, really. I, I still, I'm still not okay. That doll has become very pretty, really. It had lots of details. My mom made a beautiful kimono outfit, really. It's, it's, it's become an absolutely top doll. But how long it took for me to complete her? Because in that video I've started to try the Liquitex primer. I know I probably have it here. No, I've probably thrown it away. So I've decided to try the Liquitex primer instead of Mr. Super Clear using the airbrush. And it has become a complete nightmare because this Liquitex primer absolutely doesn't go with my style of doll customizing. I have no idea what went wrong. I've watched multiple videos on how to use it, how to dilute it, how to spray it, stuff like this. But for me the surface has become too grainy and the final work 
it really looked almost dirty and messy and very cloudy and I know it just didn't look like my work so I had to remove everything take acetone just wipe off her face and start all over so it's been extremely traumatic for me and I also had big troubles with her knee joints because I wanted to make her like fully bendable to let her sit like an Asian woman sits you know like very low on their knees it's been really a long suffering guys nothing else to say but I absolutely love the way this doll looks after all but I've spent probably more than three weeks on this doll so the next doll of the year has become this Aquarius doll then I've decided to start my own Zodiac doll collection and yeah right now I've actually almost finished it I still have to make just one doll the Capricorn doll so I'm sorry Capricorn people that you have to wait for quite a long time but I really I swear I'm going to finish it quite quickly even though I haven't started it yet but anyway I know already what I'm going to do and I really hope I will be able to upload it till the end of the Capricorn season probably on the 17th of January but yeah the latest maybe on the 24th of January so still a little bit waiting well, the next doll has become this Audrey Hepburn doll and it was actually one of the first celebrity dolls I've made here on my channel. Before this I've made just Nikki Tutorials doll, I think. Yeah, and James Charles, just two YouTubers. But Audrey Hepburn has become my first real star celebrity that I've made here on my channel. And the next doll is actually still one of my favorites ever. I really love the concept of this doll. I really love the dress my mom made. I'm absolutely proud of this construction, this holding construction that makes it look and act as a real marionette doll. But unfortunately, this doll didn't get mm, that many views. Even now, one year later, it stays just at 96,000 views. Of course, it's quite a decent amount of views. It's a lot of people, 100,000 people. But compared to my other videos, yeah, this doll didn't go at all. And it's a pity because if, for example, you're making a celebrity doll, your chances to score, to get some really high views are much higher than when you're making a doll based on your own project yeah even though this doll is extremely pretty well the next doll is a celebrity doll again it's a Beyonce doll and it's been actually the pregnant Beyonce doll in this golden outfit yeah this doll scored much better than the marionette and love doll but anyway I love both of them I'm not saying that I don't like my Beyonce doll she's an absolutely a goddess here well the next doll is this gorgeous Pisces doll. Oh my god, it's another my favorite. I don't know, now I'm going to say probably after every doll that it's been my favorite ever. But really, this mermaid doll, I'm absolutely in love with her. I think I should make more mermaid dolls here on my channel in 2020. Yeah, because I love the concept, I absolutely love the end result. I should keep working in this direction because the Spices doll love, love, love her. Well, the next doll has become this Jasmine, the Disney Princess doll. Yeah, it's a pity I cannot probably go immediately back to this concept of making Disney Princess dolls because of this new FTC and COPPA rules. Because of course all these Disney Princess dolls they're going to tag as made for kids instantly. Yeah, it's a pity because I really love making them and this Jasmine doll is really, she's such a beauty. My mom has made another beautiful outfit for her and it's not that open as in the cartoon. It's more a little bit traditional how a real Arabian princess would look. Well, the next makeover, it's been a star also on my channel. We have repainted hairdresser's mannequin hat and her name was Jessica. It was really written on the website where I've bought it. I've struggled a bit because of course I've made lots of mistakes trying to dye to color her hair. But anyway, it's been really a lot of fun and I think I should repaint at least another hairdresser's mannequin hat 
by the way, write it down in the comments. Should we repaint another Jessica? Should I buy another big mannequin hat and try to turn her into a more, I don't know, decent and cute looking girl? Because I'm quite open for this idea because Jessica, I don't know, it's been legendary in some way for me. Well, and the next doll is also a living legend on my channel because I remember it's been a certain period of time when many people were busy with the brats challenge. Uh, many makeup artists, even Nikki Tutorials and James Charles, I believe, they repainted themselves their own faces to look like a Bratz doll. But, you know, I had to come out and say that I absolutely hate Bratz dolls and I'm even, I don't know, scared of them. They're absolutely terrifying to me. So I've decided to go in opposite direction and I went for such an anti Bratz challenge and I've turned the Bratz doll into a more human looking doll. But it's been a really funny video. I've been opening some very weird Bratz set, spraying some paint on it. I don't know, it's been a really funny one. You should watch this one if you missed it. Uh, the next week I've made another Zodiac doll and it's been my own sign, the Aries doll. So I made it a little bit following my own preferences, following my own taste. That's why we have this very cute, very cozy ginger girl. Really love her, I think she's super cute. Then a week later I made this Snow White doll and again it's such a pity that I cannot continue making Disney princess dolls because I always loved working on them. But yeah, who knows, let's wait a little bit and maybe later soon we're going to hear something else from the FTC about all these copper rules and stuff like this, maybe Disney princess dolls are going to be moved to the general audience content and I will be able to continue working on them But right now, yeah, I had to take a break Well, the next doll also has become pretty viral here on my channel I've made the Daenerys Targaryen doll and I'm really happy with the end result That's why I think many people clicked on it, watched it long and that's why this video got really recommended a lot and really, I've got lots of views, lots of comments, lots of love from you after making this doll and after making this video. And I bet lots of you who are watching this video right now came to my channel after watching this Daenerys doll transformation. Because really, I'm proud of this girl and I think I should make some more Game of Thrones characters here on my channel. I have some ideas, so maybe, maybe, maybe in 2020 I'm going to continue working on them. Well, the next doll that I repainted in 2019 has become this original Marilyn Monroe doll from Mattel. I've really bought a vintage doll on eBay whose face really molded like Marilyn Monroe. But yeah, unfortunately, this doll had so many troubles that I worked on it probably for two weeks because first I found some burnt crack in her head and part of her hair was burned, so I had to reroute her hair completely. Then her neck cracked, then something else has happened. So it was really problem after problem after problem. So, I don't know, it's been a little bit of a challenging makeover for me, even though I has been so much motivated to work on it, but it hasn't become a very easy one. The next one, it's been my first time working with LOL dolls. I've never bought them before, I've never really seen them in real life, so I bought a couple of them. And this Easter special makeover has become my actually very first experience of working on LOL surprise dolls. And actually I still love them, I still would love to continue working on them if they change a little bit the packaging, because right now there is really excessive amount of plastic used for one tiny doll. I still have one in stock, but later, I don't know, I'll probably start buying them on somewhere on the second hand market or something like this. So, and after this Easter special makeover, I've made a Spanish flamenco Taurus doll. Oh my god, I think she's so pretty. Her outfit, this Mr. Taurus next to her, this guitar, really, I think it's an amazing doll, absolutely amazing set. But unfortunately, this doll has never been sold, but no. This doll has been sold on eBay, but the person who has supposed to buy it, this person has never paid. Unfortunately, I've messaged this person multiple times, 
but you know they've never replied or maybe they've replied once saying yes yes I'm still interested but that's it they've never paid for it so I still have this doll in my stock I don't know maybe I have a couple of dolls like these that never been paid after they've been sold on eBay so I will probably put them back for sale on eBay I will put the link like always into the description box under this video so if you want to buy one of these dolls you're welcome so then a week later I've repainted another big doll hat I've repainted Elena of Avalor doll I don't know this Disney character doesn't seem very popular nowadays because this video also didn't get that many views or maybe I don't know it seems like many of you already get enough of repainting big doll hats so I kinda put this concept aside for a while well, the next doll that I've made was this operetta. I've actually tried to get rid of her scars because probably a year or a year and a half earlier I've already tried to do the same, but then I kind of sanded off all her scars, kind of, I don't know, reshaped her face a little bit. And this time I've decided to get rid of her scars in another way. I've decided to fill it in with... Uh, Apoxy sculpt, forgot how to call it, been on holidays for 12 days, don't remember names of my basic products. So this is the result of this makeover and right now we have the answers, we know that you can use actually two methods, two different ways if you want to change Operetta's face. So the next doll and the next video it was a really fun one because I repainted a huge Rapunzel doll I don't even remember how tall it was something like 80 centimeter or something like this and I've also tested a huge amount of products from Arteza they've sent me really two big boxes full of art supplies and I've tested all of them in this video so it's been a really cool one and the next video oh my god it's been also a cool one what to do what all my videos are cool guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button and the like and the comments what else is there because they're all cool look the next one was uh, a doll with two faces it was a gemini zodiac makeover and i use one doll like one body one hat but I've made two different faces for this doll use, using like such a removable face plates on magnets it's been a really cool video and a very cool project because I also made like two kinds of Lolita dolls one was more such a sweet Lolita and another one was a dark Lolita really love that makeover proud of myself it's very important to be proud of yourself especially when you're doing some art uh, the next doll was my first Cinderella doll. I've made actually two Cinderellas in 2019. So the first one was a poor Cinderella, Cinderella in rags, because I couldn't choose which one to make. Yeah, and it's been a very cute doll. I absolutely love her because she really looks so poor and so cute. I don't know. I think she's very much poor Cinderella. Well, the next doll was this tiny sadness doll made out of uh, another LOL surprise doll. And I also think that this is one of the biggest stars on my channel. I still have her here because I absolutely love these tiny LOL dolls. I don't know why. I don't even put them for sale. I have all of them here. I don't know. I just like taking pictures of them and when I look at them I just start smiling so this tiny sadness doll for sure another star of this creative season 2019 well the next one was gorgeous Cinderella in her ball gown yeah it's a gorgeous Cinderella what else what else to say it's been actually very interesting to make this research about original Cinderella hair color about her original dress color that I've messed up but it's been already too late so we have a Cinderella with an original strawberry blonde hair but with more like recent blue ball gown dress but anyway I think she's very pretty then the next video has become another super hit on my channel of course it's quite easy to explain because I've made a Billie Eilish doll and of course Billie Eilish is a star number one in the world nowadays and me personally I'm a super big fan of Billie 
I don't know, she's just cool, she's cute, she's so talented, she's so bright, really love, love, love this girl, absolutely. So, that's why I've made this doll, putting lots of love into her, and that's why probably also people could feel it. And also I think many of you have joined my channel after watching this video. So, thank you, Billy, for bringing lots of cool people to my family. Uh, the next doll was this cute cartoonish Zodiac Cancer doll. Unfortunately, like all my projects that are not celebrity projects, this video has got a little bit less views. But anyway, it doesn't make this doll less cute, because I still think it's also one of the cutest original dolls of the year that I've made. Absolutely love, especially her rubber boots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely love this doll. Oh, the next video, the next doll, the next video, and it's again my favorite. It's a Princess Mary the doll. Absolutely love this girl. I still remember curling her hair for four hours, probably to make it really look like a real huge Mary the hair. But the end result is absolutely stunning. Love this doll, and again, it's such a pity I cannot make, for example, a Pocahontas doll. I haven't made her yet, but right now I cannot. The next video, it has become my first experience with the Winx Club doll. By the way, this video has got tagged made for kids instantly, because probably yeah, the Winx TV show, it's a TV show for kids. It's a pity, because these dolls are also quite cute, quite original. They're different than Monster High and Barbie dolls. And I also absolutely loved making her resin wings. So, love this doll, but it's a pity I will have to stop working on wings dolls, at least for a moment. So, then the next doll that I've made this year was this gorgeous Ariana Grande doll. Unfortunately, this doll also been sold on eBay, but never paid. So, I'm going to put her back for sale right now, probably. So, if you want to have this Ariana Grande doll, follow the link in the, in the description box, because right now she's just sitting here in my studio. I don't know, I still don't understand how it all goes, but it's also very interesting. Like, in my eyes, Ariana Grande and Billie Eilish, they're quite comparable level, you know? Maybe, of course, Billie more on peak right now, but you cannot say that Ariana has less followers. But at the same time, my Ariana video hasn't become that viral, that popular, like, for example, Billie Eilish video, and nobody can explain me why. And why Billie Eilish really shoots up starting from the first second and Ariana Grande performs well, just like some regular Cinderella video, let's say, yeah, YouTube. Well, the next doll, yeah, the Lion Queen doll, the, the Leo Queen, another Zodiac doll on my channel. She's so pretty, I don't know, it's just such a pretty doll and unfortunately this doll has been lost in traffic. Unfortunately this year I've sent two objects, two items to Mexico, this doll and one dress and unfortunately both of them has been lost in traffic and there is absolutely no in transit and unfortunately there is absolutely no way to track them. So. So, unfortunately, I had to stop selling dolls and other items to Mexico because I never had problems with the States, Canada, Europe, really, I've sent already hundreds of dolls, hundreds of items to these countries and none of them has been lost and here two items sent shipped to Mexico within a couple of weeks time, both of them got lost in transit, yeah. I just hope that this doll, I don't know, that there is some kid somewhere in the world playing with this doll, not that it has been just thrown away and that's it, yeah, because it's one of my also favorite dolls, absolutely love her. Well, the next doll of the year was this Moana Vayana doll, because this character, she has different names on different markets. I've seen this doll on sale in one of our local stores, so I just had to buy her and try to give her a complete makeover, because I wanted her to look a little bit more realistic, more like a real human, like a real Moana character. And yeah, I really love the end result, even though the before and after pictures, they're probably less radical than usually. Anyway, I'm happy with the end result of this transformation. 
Well, then the next week I've experimented with this new LOL OMG doll. They were just released on the market, so I've bought one of them and I've turned her into a Betty Boop character. And actually I really love this doll, it's absolutely different than the rest of the dolls, it's different than Monster High or Barbie or even Brad's dolls, I really love the body. It really looks so tasty, I don't know, her shapes... I don't know, it's a cute doll, I really loved her, I should probably repaint another one on my channel. Well, then the next week it was time for another absolutely brand new doll release. I took one of these BTS dolls, they just appeared on the market, really like a week before I've repainted them. So, I've repainted already two of these BTS dolls and I know that many of you have been actually waiting for me to continue. So, I promise you guys in 2020 I'm planning to repaint at least two other BTS dolls from the same collection. Because I know there are lots of BTS fans out there waiting for me to continue. I'm going to continue guys very soon, maybe even in January I'm going to repaint another BTS doll. Oh, and then the next doll is another my favorite, guys. It's been a collaboration with two British drag queens, Nova and Olympia. They perform under an artistic name, Novimpia. So they've made an absolutely hilarious parody on me, really. My mom has been watching it probably at least once a week, because it's so funny, really. It really looks like me, it sounds like me, it's extremely funny. And, yeah. I had to make a special drag queen doll looking like Novimpia. I took some features from Nova, some features from Olympia, and I've made this drag queen doll who is actually probably more a transgender woman <laughs> because there is absolutely no way to remove all these, you know, breasts and hips and all this stuff. But anyway, it's a very cute doll and I think I should make more drag queen dolls on my channel also. Another new year resolution. Oh, the next doll is just one of my favorite YouTubers ever. It's Christine, Simply Nylogical. Sending you lots of love, Christine, and also lots of love to all people who have joined me, my channel, after watching this video, because it has become also quite popular. And I'm also extremely proud of the end result, because I really put a lot of love and a lot of thought and attention into every single detail of of this doll. So thank you so much for the inspiration Christine and thank you so much for watching my video. It was super inspiring and it's made me really extremely happy to, to know that you have seen it and that you have liked it. Well, then the next doll of the year has become this gorgeous, classy Virgo Bride. I really tried to make an absolutely gorgeous, elegant, yeah, classy bride and I think I perfectly succeeded here. I really love this bright doll. Well, after making this Virgo bright doll, I've made another celebrity doll. I've made Melanie Martinez repeating her look from the dollhouse video, because really, I think this look, this makeup, outfit, even like the joints here on her elbows, it's all just made for doll customizers, <laughs> this look to, to copy it on a real doll. So I'm really happy about this makeover, I think this doll looks just amazing. Then a week later I've made another doll from the BTS collection, I've made a Jimin doll, absolutely happy about this boy. Uh, again, guys, a little bit of patience, still a little bit of patience, I'm almost about to start the new BTS repaint. Then the next week uh, it was time for another Zodiac doll, and it was a Libra this time, and by the way guys, I don't know, this video, this look, this project, it's been a little bit misunderstood in the comments. Of course, I've made this doll staying on the weighing machine uh, and using the popcorn and at the same time wearing a sport costume and many people, I don't know, in some way read it as, a, I don't know, about some eating problems, stuff like this, about some overweight. No, guys, it wasn't about it. I've tried to show the duality of a Libra character, but it wasn't actually about food, about eating, about all, any kind of disorders, not at all. I could show at the same time a girl who would love, I don't know, to go party, but at the same time she would love to stay home on her cozy couch. It was about it, it was, it was about a duality, not about 
eating disorder. So I'm sorry if I insulted anyone, someone with this makeover, but it wasn't actually what I meant. I don't know, this weighing machine and weight connection came actually from the scale that you often see on the Libra characters, on Libra dolls and whatever, Libra illustrations. So, the next doll of the year was this March Simpson doll, where she is, she's still here in my studio, there she is staying, uh, because I'm planning to continue my, grow my Simpson collection, and it's been actually a super fun makeover, because I've tried to change the transform a doll face using Warbla Cobra cast thermoplastic, so I actually took a Monster High doll face, and I've sculpted all these, I don't know, Simpsons, facial features. I absolutely love this doll and actually uh, the official Warbler account on Instagram they've even reposted this work. I've been very proud of it actually because I absolutely love the Warbler material. I could actually call it the discovery of the year, this Warbler thermoplastic in general. Then the next year I've made a Lana Del Rey doll. It's been another celebrity doll on my channel. I also think it's a such a gorgeous makeover, especially her jumpsuit. I've made it myself, not my mom, really. I made it completely myself and I'm absolutely proud of myself this time. Yeah, it's a gorgeous doll. I absolutely love this Lana Del Rey. So, and then we're stepping into the Halloween special dolls and the first one was this The Night King doll. I've made it out of a regular Barbie doll hat, out of this cheap styling hat. And yeah, it was a really fun transformation. I've used the uh, epoxy sculpt to change his face and then I've made uh, the outfit using some pieces of carton. Yeah, it's been a really interesting work. It's been completely different than my regular makeovers. That's why I really love this one. Then the next one, it was our big Halloween collaboration with many, many, many different doll artists. I don't remember how many with how many we've been there, 17 or 18, something like this. And then I've made my Laura Palmer doll because I'm a huge fan of Twin Peaks, of this TV show. So I've made my dead Laura Palmer doll for, for Halloween. And I think also in 2020, I'm going to make more Twin Peaks related dolls here on my channel. And then the next doll, it was actually my black and white doll repaint. It was a Scorpio doll for my Zodiac collection. And this doll has been uploaded actually probably right after Halloween. But anyway, it's fitted <laughs> the, the Halloween theme, the topic completely. I absolutely love this doll. She looks so elegant and dark at the same time. Really an amazing doll. Then the next week it was time for my new LOL surprise doll transformation and this time I've turned this doll into a Kenny from South Park and it's also another one of my favorite dolls on this channel. I don't know why but I always have extremely lot of fun working on these tiny LOL dolls. I don't know why, maybe because it's just different from my routine doll customizing because it's really something completely different, something new. I don't know why but I really love, I showed you already here is my sadness, here is my Kenny doll and here is my Yoda doll that I've made just a couple of weeks ago. I really love them, I don't know why. Then the next week I've made something completely different. I've made actually real paper doll because I used to be a huge paper doll fan when I was a kid and I always wanted to make my own paper doll. That's why I've actually bought this machine, this iPad Pro, to be able to learn to study digital illustration, maybe even animation. This is actually one of my plans for the 2020, to draw more, to do more different kinds of art as well. So, and this is the first result of my work, this paper doll. I've made actually a Visco doll. You still can buy this doll on Etsy as a digital object, as a digital art. So, and there are actually just four dolls left in 2019 and the first one was this Jessica Rabbit doll. I absolutely love this one, really, this body modification, it works absolutely perfect for a Jessica Rabbit character. I absolutely love the way she looks, I also always love dolls with ginger hair, so yes, absolutely happy with this transformation. Well, the next one 
is one of my favorites. I told you already this baby Yoda doll. I fell instantly in love with this new baby Yoda character, so I'm really happy I've managed to recreate this character in a doll form. I really think it's also one of my best transformations of of the year of 2019. Well, the next transformation is again one of my favorites. No, I don't know what to do. I don't know what, what, what can I do. I love all of them. I spent dozens of hours working on each of these dolls. So of course I love them. So this winter unicorn doll, the Sagittarius doll. I absolutely love this doll. I love the color combination of her hair, her skin tone, this iridescent like unicorn skin glitter. Really absolutely gorgeous doll. I'm absolutely proud of it. The wings also I love of this doll. Really good one. And then the very last doll transformation of the year has become this Holiday Barbie from Mattel. You know, every year in December, November, December, they release their Holiday Special doll collection. And already for the second year, I'm repainting one of these dolls. So guys, and these were all my dolls made in 2019. I really hope many of you managed to survive till the end of this video because it took me almost two hours and a half probably to record it but anyway I'll try to cut it of course and to make it I don't know maybe 30-40 minutes something like this or even split into in two parts we will see but anyway I really hope you've enjoyed seeing all my dolls for me it was a really exciting journey I can tell you honestly some of these dolls I've already kind of forgot not forgot completely but anyway of course like oh yeah really yes I made this doll it was so cool so I'm sitting here now full of positive energy, completely recharged my creative batteries, my creative juices are flowing like hell. So I want to wish all of you Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, please stay positive, stay creative. I love you so much, thank you so much for being amazing, for staying with me in 2019, for going through all this, I don't know turbulent times in the end of the year but anyway it's gonna be okay we're going to fight we're going to win and we're going to keep making art here on youtube thank you so much guys for being with me this year see you already next year in 2020 love you guys bye